Hey everybody, uh, I got a quick video here, had a couple questions on this lately, figured I'd make a quick run through on this. So what I got pulled up here, what I'm going to be talking about is exporting a point file from uh, Pocket 3D. Uh, a point file, we're not going to use a PT3, we're going to do it as a text. Um, so doing a lot of like as-built stuff is a good way to get it out, get back to an engineer, or easy way to move it around since text is a pretty universal format. Uh, what I've got pulled up on the computer here is just a, uh, this is just Pocket 3D I just installed on my computer, and you can actually run this, and it's nice for running through if you want to, you know, have something to troubleshoot if you're on the phone with somebody, but you can also come in here and click on this. This will pop up, and then you can click on this guy, and it'll say run in simulated mode, and then when I do that, now I'm green, and see I've got my little crosshairs here, and you can move around on site. Um, and in this, you know, you can you can get all your, uh, you know, it'll be like just like you're on site where your uh, where your crosshairs are at. So we'll put a couple on here just so we can we'll do northeast and we'll put a measure elevation on there. So there you go. So now if I move over here, you'll see those numbers change. So. What I got here is just a project pulled up. Um, I just threw, you can see these stars in here are points that I created. I think there's, uh, so there's five of them. So we're going to export those points to a text file. So the first thing we want to do uh, when we do this is whenever you shoot points, I recommend putting them on a layer. So in layers I created, I just call them Scott's points. And in here you can, you know, show the numbers and so on and so forth. I put the stars just to make them easy to see, but I usually do change it to something. I personally like the circle, um, but you can have whatever you want that makes sense to you. But if it's on a layer, you'll see here in a second, it's just a lot easier to get to and utilize. So we've got our five points that we're going to export here. So when we go into points, we go import, export. So we have two text file and two PT3 file. PT3 is handy if you're only using Top Gun, moving stuff along you know, between machines or, or data collectors, but most of the time we want to use this two text file. So you can see here, this is where the layers come in handy. So if we do all points, let's say we got a thousand points on this, we don't really want to get all thousand out and then have to manage that on the back end in a text or CSV file. So if we just want particular ones, it's a lot easier. If you can do by layer, selected points only would be like if you selected points on the map or in a points listing layer, which let me just show you that real quick. So if you were to go into points and go into listing and then come into Scott's points, you can select all. Now, when I go into this, I've got selected points. See, now that's not grayed out anymore. So I'm still gonna go by layer. I think is by far the easiest way to do it. So by layer, Scott Point. So this is my next thing we're going to do. That is my target text file. Oh, I've already got some formats in here. That's right. I'll show you how to make one of those. Um, this is basically, you know, where where do you want the thing to go? So map it to where you want it to go. Most of the time it's a thumb drive. You can put it in the documents or, or whatever you want to do. And then conversion format down here. You can see I've got a couple on that here is, you know, for doing some conversion to Google Earth and some other things. Um, but I'm going to show you how to create that format here. So to get the format, you're going to go hit the format button and then here we're going to hit new. So what I'd recommend doing is having a different, well, this is how my data collector set up. I have a, I usually do P, N, E, Z, D is pretty pretty standard for people we deal with. So that is point name, point northing, point easting, point elevation, and point description. Um, you can have the be in pretty much any order, but it's just the easiest way to know what you're spitting out. So then you have to type TXT in here. And now we're just going to add these line items in here. So first thing we have point name. And then depending on this is this is pretty standard if you just leave it trailing comma. Um, well, let me get these in here and then I'll kind of go through some of the other stuff. So then we're just going to go point northing, 
And you see how it's just adding them down the list as we go. Point. Yep. Don't get the wrong one. So precision is the amount of decimal places. Uh, point elevation. And then where it gets a little confusing is certain people may call things different. Point description. Um, this is going to be our last one. So now we got that. Um, things to take into account. Import rules. If you're importing a file, it may have a header line that has a, like a title of, you know, same point name. So you can skip. You can put one. You'd put, you want to skip header lines and you put one in there. Same thing with the prefix lines. Oh, that'll happen with the, if you have it on your computer, since we're just using it. Um, and then same thing with the export rules. Um, you can add a line header and a footer. I typically don't do any of that. It's easier just to do it in the notepad. Okay, so now we have our PNEZD. We hit OK. So now I have that as one of my conversion formats. I'm going to select that. So now I'm taking my points. Let's just put this to the desktop. Okay, so we're saving my points to the desktop in this format. I'm just going to click OK. Tells me five points were successfully exported. So I hit OK there. Now, if I go to the desktop, I have a text file. If I look in here, I should have my five points. These points I made, I didn't put elevations on them. That's why they're at zero. But you can see it makes a nice text file uh, of all your points. So. That is the best way, I believe, to get your information out of there um, when it comes to points. Once again, the PT3 file, only use that if you're going from TopCon to TopCon. Anybody else is going to have a hard time working with that. So working that text file, you can have tons of different formats created in there um, You know, for all the different ways you may want to spit it out. or It's pretty simple if you want to edit one and just have one, however you choose to do it. But I uh, hope that was helpful, and if you guys got questions, as always, leave a comment, and have a great day.